Hi everyone, Anne here from Bluminous.com. I'm excited to share with you our first video tutorial for our video blog. Today I'm going to show you how to make a Hello Kitty bouquet. Um, Hello Kitty's face is made entirely out of white carnations and then the buttons and everything else. Uh, the ears, the whiskers, I sh I'll show you in details how to make them. Um, I'm super excited because growing up Hello Kitty was my favorite character from San Rio and um, I've collected many many things that, that was Hello Kitty and uh, today for me to be able to share with you how to make Hello Kitties out of flowers is just beyond excitement. So um, let's get started. So to start, we'll make all the central pieces for Hello Kitty's face. Uh, start off with the bow. Uh, you need to cut the bow length to eight inches and another piece of two. And then also using black construction paper, cut into uh, strands about a little bit over two inches for the whiskers. And for the ears, I used white construction paper and I drew a half triangle, like a round edge. And then I fold it and I cut uh, for the ears so they come up like this. And then for the eyes and nose, if you really pay attention to Hello Kitty's uh, face, her eyes and nose are slightly oval instead of uh, perfectly round. So I found these at Michael's and I just spray painted them uh, black and some yellow. And this is the bottle I bought at Michael's. For you. So you can get it there and spray the nose this correct yellow. And so um, I'll show you how to put the bow together first. So for the bow, uh, I'll just fold them in half right in the middle. And so just to have an idea, that's where I'll put my glue dot. So using a hot glue gun, just put a dot there. And then the other half, fold it in. And then use this two inches of ribbon uh, on the cleaner side, just fold it over. And we'll also um, need some wires. I cut these in half, just another glue dot. Make sure the wire's inside the glue and just let it sit to dry. For the ears, it's the same thing. Uh, I did something a little bit different here so that it has more grip and it's very easy to make. Uh, so just take, you can use the tip of your scissors. Um, I just have this small edge here, here and so pretty much I would just grab the tip of the wire and just roll it around and then take it out. So I just created a flat surface so it's easy to um, glue it onto the ears. So um, this is how it's fold and I cut it. So I, I would use the other side because of the the outline of the ink. So just a glue dot there. And same technique, just let it sit to dry. And then also you, we do the same with the ears and the eyes. So the way that we're gonna put the eyes in are gonna be vertical. So then when I, when we, um, so we first do the same thing. For this, um, once I do that, I kind of create like a little umbrella. I like can tell, and that's so that I can have. I want to insert. I want to glue it onto the button like this. Set it to dry. 
can do the wire for the ribbon for this one. So the whiskers are a little tricky. Uh, if you notice, I wrapped them. I would just um, have them on the wire, but then I would fold them over so that they they hold. Um, and then if it's too long, you can trim it later. It's not a big deal. But we want to make sure it's two opposite direction. So I pre-made that one, so we'll do one on the other side. So this one is a little harder to make, just just be careful and don't get yourself burned. So it would just be like that. And I would fold it over and a, a dot of glue would be there to hold it in place and we'll repeat. Except for the last one, we kind of want to make it a little slanted. And it's good to have it on top of something so that way you don't ruin the table too or the surface that you're working on. That would just fold it in half and then tuck it in tuck it between the wire. Okay, it's slightly longer than the right side, but we'll, we'll trim that later. So right now we have our bow. We have our two eyes and a yellow nose, two ears, and two whisk two pairs of whiskers or sets of whiskers. So we're gonna make um, Hello Kitty's face and put it all together. And uh, you need four carnations, white carnations, and slightly fluffed and open for a fuller look. And maybe four, sometimes five, uh, depending on the shape of the carnation. So we want Hello, Hello Kitty's face to be a little bit oval as well, not a perfect round. And that's key when you put it together. So just, uh, I start with three at the bottom, and then top, so you can kind of see the shape. Um, and kind of just look at it. And uh, we'll just start with the ears. thing about the wire you can bend it to the direction of desire so just adjust it around and if you get the shape that you're you're happy with uh, use floral tape to tape that down and hold it in place so it doesn't move around so I got my one ear in here that I kind of like where it is so I taped it down and then we're gonna add the second ear. Okay, I'm happy with that. And then I'm gonna take a bow and just insert it right above her left ear. Okay, so that's what her face looked like so far. Now, um, I'm gonna cut these shorter so I can insert it into uh, the bouquet. Cut them at an angle so that way it has a sharp end so it's easy to insert. Okay, and just kind of eye it. show you how to put it together in a, a mix of greens or um, you can put it in mixed bouquet but this 
It's the completed Hello Kitty bouquet. So now that you have completed the Hello Kitty uh, face, we can put it together in a mixed bouquet. You can just get a store-bought bouquet and just tuck um, the Hello Kitty's face right in the middle and the surrounding would just be uh, different color, different flowers. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to make a bouquet out of green so that way Hello Kitty would pop. Um, it's very simple, just like how we would put any bouquets together. So I have here three bunches of greens. So I would just start with one and put Hello Kitty right in the middle. And then combine the other second one and the third one. And uh, I mean, this is just to show you that we, we're only doing one for her right in the center, but you can do three Hello Kitties or four or five and the bouquets just get bigger. Um, and I've seen it done where just a mixed spring bouquet, as I mentioned earlier, and Hello Kitty would sit right in the center. Just tie it with the bow and finish up. Adjust her a little bit, make sure Hello Kitty is front and center. And there you have it, a Hello Kitty bouquet surrounded with greens, very easy to make.